time for a couple of Linux quickie, and this one comes from our resident genius, Kronos. All right, uh, it appears that Steam has updated the Proton client, and the latest version now is 3.7.6. And there's a different procedure in order to get uh, the shell scripts to uh, materialize for you uh, in your temporary directory. Uh, and let me show you what that is. This first line right here, proton dump debug commands equals 1% commands percent. This needs to be entered into your uh, program launch parameters in order to get those directories. And I'll show you where that is real quick here. So in order to get them to uh, appear in temp, you'll have a folder that says Proton and your username, and those files will generate here. But in order to get that, you need to right-click your installed program, go into Properties on this, and then Set Launch Options, and then just put that information in here. And then the next time you launch the game, it will generate those scripts for you. Okay, and Kronos was kind enough to throw in some additional really cool things that you can do uh, with your Proton. Uh, for instance, if you need to, you know, get .NET 2.0 to work or some other things. So, I'm going to keep adding stuff to this Dirty Steam Proton Tricks thread. Uh, so make sure that you uh, bookmark this page so that you can refer back to it because uh, myself and probably others from the Couple Linux community will be uh, putting these little tips in here to help you get the most out of Proton. I'm not sure what's coming up next on Cup of Linux, but I will have something exciting, I'm pretty sure. Uh, if you have any comments, be sure to post them at cupoflinux.com. That is the only place I will be able to see them. And I completely lost my mind again. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to shut off this silly thing. <laughs> see you next time. Mm -hmm.